in a world where nobody knew how to move, there was one that did. Ah! No! Ah! Mm. Adrenaline boost patch. It's it's not going down. What is he? Who is he? How the f is he doing this? Oh wait. It's Steezo. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the green. Oh, I psyched myself out. I did it again, people. Do you want the cigs? Watch the video. I'm greening everything. Let me get a billion likes. I'm grinding this year. We on next gen. We on current gen. I got the bill coming soon. The jump shot. This is our year. They just don't know what to do with me. Oh, this Gotta be Zen and a nigga hitting half courts. Get the f out of here, nigga. Hey, just report his ass. I got CJ that do CJ waving the band already. Just report his ass, bro. Because there's no way this should be getting tired. You can tell he's using his Zen. Just look at what I'm doing. I got these motherfuckers confused, cuz they think I got a Zen. It's not a Zen, it's my thumbs, you stupid bitch. I tried to tell. All of you, what you are gonna need is this SIG right here. It is the basic one spin. This is how I'm able to move around the court so goddamn frequently. I'm just so smooth with it. You need the basic one spin, put that on, and we gonna go through each SIG. Just look at what I'm doing. They don't know what to do. They ain't see movement like this. They don't know what to do. Green! Oh. Now 2K23 next gen and current gen both have the same exact movement, the same gameplay. What applies to current will apply to next gen. Don't worry people, I will be playing both. Put the basic one spin. As you can see, it's the best spin in the game. Trust me, I'm Steezo. I know what I'm talking about. Now for the next SIG, it will be the dribble style. I'm going to break it down very concisely. This is an educational channel. I'm going to go into depth. The dribble style that you see me using in this video is none other than James Harden. Now there are two different SIGs that you can use because James Harden is good for the way that I dribble. And until you know how to dribble like me, you will not like James Harden. Now for the combination of what's good in the meta, everybody in the game uses either LeBron James or Michael Jordan or Pro. Or if you're a little guard, Damian Lillard, those are the three fastest speed booster. But as you can see, I don't speed boost. So I don't need those meta sigs. But if you want to speed boost, you want to use LeBron James. You want to use Michael Jordan. You want to use Damian Lillard. But if you want the dribble style of a god you gonna use James Harden cause that's what I'm using in this video that's what I put on to not speed boost because not speed boosting means you get to keep your adrenaline boost if you dribble like me you will always have an adrenaline boost why do you think I'm so adrenalized it all makes sense I don't speed boost so I get to keep my adrenaline boost people that is the key. Who the hell is texting me during my video? Anywho. So Mike just texted me and said I shouldn't drop this video. But I love y'all. So I'm going to drop it anyways. F*** you, Mike. Nah, hey, good shit this year. You passed everybody, but you forgot to patch me. You patched the left riders, but you forgot to patch me? Me. You forgot? This is what I'm talking about. I am Itachi. Now for the next SIG, you're going to want to put on none other than one of my favorite players, Kyrie Irving Size Up Escape Package. Now the best package in the game, in my opinion, because I done tested all of them in the blacktop, is none other than the Curry or the Trey Young, but we don't get that yet until I think season four for the Curry, and I don't even know when they're going to drop the Trey Young. So until we get those, 
This Kyrie size up package will give you what you need. It gets the AI step back, that little hop back little thing that from the Allen Iverson stuff. It gives you that. That's what we want. We want all of that. Because when we get all of that, then you get all of this, and now you're getting somewhere. Now, once you got those three dribble moves equipped, I'm going to give you a little tip. Dribbling in the backcourt this year does not waste any adrenaline boost. So now it doesn't matter what dribble style you have. If you do it in the backcourt, as you can see, a lot of my combos start in the backcourt. You will not waste any adrenaline boost. But once you learn how to combo and chain all of my six together, 10K likes for the dribble tutorial. Then you will know how to keep all of your adrenaline boost regardless whether you're in the back court, the front court. I done did the homework. I done broke the game. I done did the ones and zeros. I figured it out. I cracked the code. Dribbling like me this year doesn't waste adrenaline boost. That's why it is our year, people. They patched the left riders, but they forgot to patch B. You patched the left riders, but you forgot to patch B? Me! Oh my god. Now for the next dribble move, this is very important. You're gonna wanna have to put on Damian Lillard moving behind the back. That's the behind the back you see me do throughout this whole video. It changed so perfectly into the basic one spin back to the three. It's very important to have the Damian Lillard move in behind the back because they took out the old Pro 3. Oh, Mike, you're so lucky you took out the Pro 3. If this year had Pro 3, it would be really over. But the Damian Lillard behind the back is the next best behind the back. It's the new meta behind the back. Put it on. That's Damian Lillard moving behind the back. Basic one. You see what it turns into. Ultimate space. You just can't keep up with it. Look at the guy. Stop comparing me to these comparisons. I am not a triple god. I am an ISO god. And if you want to be an ISO god too, you're going to want to have to put on, it doesn't matter, the signature size up. I'm being honest, people. Signature size up, I don't even really use it. So I have on Kevin Durant, but I know if you're a small guard, you're going to want to put on, I think it's Stephon Marbury. Stephon Marbury has the best signature size up. If you can't get Stephon Marbury, you can get Rafer Alston. You can use Kevin Durant. It's all good. Even Darius Garland is a good uh, signature size up. You just, because you can see, I don't really do signature size ups. But if you want to do it, your guard, Stephon Marbury for sure. Kevin Durant, Darius Garland. You can't go wrong with any of those people. You really can't. You know? I don't do one signature size up throughout this whole video, though. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. I'm the god of AIDS. I'll tell you that much. I'm the god of AIDS. <laughs> of AIDS. I'll tell you that much. Now, for the next dribble move, you're going to want to put on Kyrie Irving moving hesitation. That one, I don't really do that much either. It's more, it's the one where you run forward and you press the left or right, you know, to the side and it gets you into the in and out, you know, the little sham god. That's uh, Kyrie Irving moving hesitation. I'm telling you, some of these I don't really use. That move right there. You saw that? That was the, uh, the sham god. That's what that changes, the move and hesitation. It'll change your sham god. So, yeah, if you want my sham god, Kyrie Irving's good. Zach Levine's good. A lot of these is you could use either one. It's mostly just preference. What I got on, though, is Kyrie Irving move and hesitation. And now we're moving on. Now, least but not last, what we want now is what you see throughout the whole video. It is the Luka Doncic step back. It's the step back I'm using to get back to the three, to quick stop, to get to the half court. As you can see, that Luka Doncic step back is the best game-breaking move in the game. I use it just as much as I use the Damian Lillard behind the back. The basic one spin, that Luka Doncic is very, very AIDS. It's right there, as you can see. It's what gives you that good little ah. 
and that will do it for all the SIGs that you gonna need, the SIGs that I use, the best SIGs, in my opinion, it's the best SIGs, people. Let's be real until the new seasons come out, because we're very limited right now, but they gave us enough to still be able to cook, but we have to change the way we look at dribbling. It is not the speed boosting way it was before, and that's fine, because we don't need that shit. We never needed that shit. We never needed the left, right. We can do this new dribble style. We can do whatever we want. We can even left, right. It's sad, but you really can still too. But all I'm saying is if you want to dribble with no adrenaline boost, wasted, you're going to put on these six and you're going to go crazy like your boy. And that's going to do it. Let me get 10K likes for the build, the jumper, all coming soon, and the dribble tutorial. I'm grinding this year, current and next gen. I love every single one of y'all. Steezo, the motherfucking guy. I'm out, G. I live in a constant state of fear and misery. Do you miss me anymore?